And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody! Force Friday has come and gone, but there are still more Star Wars games to talk about. Now we're talking about Death Star Boom Boom Balloon. That has to be one of the dumbest sounding names there is. And when you look at the picture in this box, you're looking at sticks poking into a balloon. Death Star looks really silly and weird. And it is silly and weird, but you are essentially in this game using a balloon as a Death Star, poking sticks in it, trying to pop it. Let me show you. You have three of these curved pieces like this, and you gotta put this thing together first, so you... You can put these in the top here. They basically just slide down in and snap into place. You have to push this lever to get them back out. So they're not going to come apart. So you put them in like that. And then this stands here. And then essentially you have this saucer piece here that's going to snap in on all three sides. So let me get that in here. One and let's try that again. Two and three. There. Now the whole thing is in. Now you're going to put a balloon where the balloon comes out like that and you're going to blow the balloon up. It says use an air pump, but I'm going to use my mouth here. People always say I'm full of hot air anyway, right? Okay, so now once I have the balloon up, you don't have to tie it. You just have to kind of wrap it around like that so it sticks out there. And you can see the balloon here has the Death Star symbol on it, and we're ready to go. Now, the way this game works is we are trying to pop this balloon. That's right, you are trying to pop the balloon. Each player is going to have a certain number of X-Wings in their color. And there are these sticks here. There are actually nine of these sticks. There are nine spots to put these sticks in. And these sticks go on the side, the bottom, and the middle of each of these three curved pieces. So on your turn, you're going to roll a die. If you roll a number, if there, if you don't have a, if there's a free stick, you take one of your X-Wings, put on that stick, so let's say I roll three, and you put it in here, and then you're just gonna push three clicks. One, two, three. Oh, well, it didn't pop the balloon yet, so then it's the next person's turn. Now they roll a one, this lets you do two different things. You can either take the person's X-Wing off of one and put your own on. Because when the balloon pops, you want to have the most of your X-Wings into it, because that's the person who wins. Or you can take a new stick and put it in one click. So maybe I'll take this one, decide to put it on this side. There we go, got it in one click. Not very much, the next person goes and they roll uh, a one, so they're gonna take a stick here and they're gonna stick it on this bottom one. One click. All right, this is getting very interesting. So as time goes by, I'm gonna not bother rolling the dice, I'm just gonna show you. Now, you may be feeling a little bit of tense here, like wondering, one, two, three, when this thing's gonna pop. And I can understand that because it really isn't clear when it's gonna pop. And we'll put this in for two clicks. One, two, all right. And sometimes the balloon actually does not pop. It just kind of fizzles and like, one, two, three. All right, look at that balloon. It is getting all beat up. This Death Star is not being destroyed because of um, the uh, shooting one missile down the middle of it. It's gonna get destroyed by just being blown to pieces. Let's put this one in three. One, two, three. <laughs> now I've been wondering, I have, the, the game comes with 12 balloons, which means you can play 12 times. You really could stick any balloon in here, but you're gonna want one that's somewhat thick to get into this because thin balloon will pop too easily. So this, I mean, you lose a little bit of the theme with the Death Star thing in, so I gotta make sure I get this in right. One, two, three. There we go. Yeah, all right. So now we got sticks coming in from every direction. 
except one. But the next time I roll three, let's push, let's see, let's, I'm gonna push this one down three more here at the top. Let's see what happens. One, two, three, boom, and it popped. Now, when the balloon pops like that, then you just simply count the number of X-wings. So blue has one, two, three, red has one, two, three, and yellow has one. In case of a tie, red is the one that made it pop, so red is the winner of this game. And that's how you play. Now, one of the things I thought was odd about this game is I understand the theme of this game is to make the Death Star blow up, right? But as a game itself, I think it would be more interesting to not be the one to pop it. Because really, as a game, you can just sit there and go three, three, three. Now, granted, you want to have the most starships on the outside, so you got to be careful in that regard. But the one thing I didn't like about this game much was where you roll a die and, and you roll that one, oh, I'll take one of yours off and put one of mine on. That was kind of annoying and clunky, I thought. The game itself would have been more interesting if you rolled numbers and then you're trying to click in different ones and not make it pop. If you're the one who makes it pop, you've set off some more. I mean, again, it's hard to match that with the theme. But still, it's hilarious. When you're playing this game, now I knew when I was playing it just now that I was going to pop that balloon. Not a problem, so it was not. But even when you know you're going to pop the balloon, you're still kind of like, hmm, and everyone's sitting there tense. When's that balloon going to pop? And you're pushing sticks into a balloon. Something you know is going to make balloons pop. My kids thought this one was fun, although they said that it was stressful, and I certainly understand that because everyone's sitting there like, when's this going to pop? Um, and the only thing anyone disliked was that constant moving the, the things around. That was kind of a waste. So everyone would have preferred you just, everyone has three sticks or whatever, and you, put, you push them in a little bit at a time, and then you either have to make the balloon pop or not make the balloon pop. But either way, the balloon popping should be part of it. It's probably a mismatched theme, although it does make sense here, I suppose, is the they're shooting their lasers and <laughs> it's hilarious. I wouldn't use this in many situations. But I would bring this out at a party. Some kids are like, oh, what are we gonna do? I'm like, oh, guys, watch this, bring it out. This is gonna be something that's gonna catch people's attention. Yes, it only has 12 balloons for 12 plays, but honestly, again, you can put any kind of balloon, you just gotta get the thicker rubber ones. You can find those all over the place, put those in and have a hilarious time. Blowing up balloons here and Death Star boom, boom, balloon. Not for everybody, I'm sure, but there are circumstances where I think this would be hilarious fun. Dice Tower Judgment approved, but mostly for parties. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Shut the door. Yeah.